Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Spade Adventures. I'm Jen Spins, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and boxing channel, where today we have some more Splatoon 3 story mode. And in the previous episode, we got to the cozy, sleepy factory or something like that. It's something about being a factory and being cozy. But now we can go into Splitting Crosshairs, which doesn't have a hero shot. So that means we can go with any of the three weapons here. I'm feeling Splosher. Oh, it's even suggesting it. Well, how about that? I was just thinking, I, I feel like it'll be the the better one to go for this. Because splat, Splatlings are not really my forte, to be fair. I mean, at some point, I'm going to end up playing with all of them anyway. Ooh, okay, so we, we are definitely doing like a little... What's it, what's it called? Like a target range, I think. <laughs> you know, those more, more carnival games. This is, this isn't a factory. This is actually just a carnival. Oh, I almost missed it. But we are good. It's like the target range where you're, where you're like popping the zombies or you're, you're in the wild west. Except instead of Instead of like a blaster or a gun, we have a bucket of paint. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on. Yeah, I feel like this would be very interesting to try to do with uh with Nautilus. No 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 no. No! I <laughs> Oh no is right, Marie! Oh no is right! I you know what? I, f I actually forgot that I had that I had the sub that I that I absolutely could have used and it probably would have gone better for me. Oh god, dang it! Okay, and then I tried using the sub and it didn't work. I was I was being a little too hasty. And I needed to be better with conserving my. St stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Really? Really? Oh, okay, okay. Well, the only thing that sucks is that if we do end up losing all of our money, which would be very sad, then we would have to start before the checkpoint. This isn't even like a hard point either. I just, oh my God, that was, that was almost really bad. Okay. Now I'm just like freaking out of ink. Oh, it's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. It's gonna. Wait, 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 wait! No, no, no! Oh my god! I just wanted to slow down there. Accidentally wasting ink. I had, I had to do it. I had to do it because I needed the. I need the extra time! No! No! <laughs> this is so annoying! That is so annoying that they have it be so much durability. Some games, some games have some real nerve, man. Don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, no, <laughs> jumped on prematurely. I hate this box! There's no way. There's like no, oh my god. This, this is so demanding. It's so demanding. <sighs> Don't you do it. Don't, no, no. This one is actually better to not use the splash bombs, though. To be frank. Oh. No! Oh my god, thank god. I was like, I swear. I swear. And of course it's the last box! Of course it's the last box! Why would I not struggle on the very last box and have to spend so much time and so much effort on it? Whatever. We finally did it. It took me like 
five minutes to get past that point, but it's fine. It, this must be my punishment for going out of order. I'm sorry to the other people in the in the video that have OCD that got bothered and now are like, yeah, karma. <laughs> Don't lie, I know there I know there's one person. It might even be me during editing. That is <laughs> That's a very big possibility. Oh man. Well, we could definitely get rid of more of the more of the fluff, but we do also have this level here, and I don't want to forget about it. Absorbent in you. Really, really just sounds like Splatoon trying to sell me a, a really powerful washcloth. I think it's the Sham Wow, but iCarly had something so similar that it's, it's hard for me to remember. It's either Sham Wow or Sham Pow. When the product is so close to an infomercial product that it's just like, I actually don't even remember which is which. <laughs> which is the original? The world may never know. Watch, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a fight in the comments. And, and then there's gonna be like the uh, the Mandela effect <laughs> that people are gonna be like, like oh you thought it was this one but it's actually this one Mandela effect oh I don't know I I still stand by the the idea of like I I think that the Mandela effect is just people misremembering things on online and not being able to cope with the fact that they were wrong. And like, don't get me wrong, I have definitely had moments where I'm like, hmm, hmm, Mandela effect, and then I then I stop and I'm like, no, because there are people out there that are like, oh, here's this Mandela effect where it's, uh, you thought that there was this black on the on the tail of Pikachu, and it's like, like on the tip of his tail, and it's like, no, Pikachu has never had that. That has never been a design thing, and if you. If you've played enough Pokemon, you will absolutely know that. Like, it's it's trying to like, basically, it's for me. My opinion on it is they're trying to find something so similar that you will end up seeing something, and maybe you will actually be like, "Oh, I did think it was that," or your brain is tricked because it's so close that you're like, "Oh." Oh, yeah, yeah, it was that. And then it just turns out that that it never was. But you, you just are so convinced because of this magical effect. Yeah. I've been asking a lot of a lot of things for the comments, but, like, again, feel free. Like, hey, the, the engagement. The, the engagement is always, is always nice, and I always like to hear other people's opinions on, on this kind of stuff. So if you if you do believe in it, then you know what? Uh, fair enough. I kind of used to in eighth grade, just because there was a one one teacher that was like really obsessed with it. It's like a substitute teacher that we had, and just he he actually just had like one class where he just went over Mandela effects, and it was <laughs> it was an art class. <laughs> it was actually it was a photography class, so I don't even know why he was going over it. What he, he was. We had that sub for most of the year, because the the teacher that I that I had, like beginning of the year, we had like three teachers that got injured, and I I I had two of them actually. I can't remember if he was the one that fell down the stairs or if he fell down the ladder. Yeah. Now that I think about it, that wasn't that wasn't eighth grade though. That was. <laughs> Not that it matters, but I think that was like 10th, maybe 11th? I don't know. The point point being I was in high school, and if any if anybody's confused why I'm saying 8th grade is high school, my, my school district, the way they did it, they put 8th grade in the high school. Okay, also this suit is like really cool, and I would love to unlock the, the like gold jacket. That looks so good. That looks so freaking clean, man. Whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, stop that. Stop that. Stop it. That is, that is very, very rude.
Yeah, but my my class was the the first eighth grade class to be in the in the high school. So I actually had five years in high school, which makes it really awkward because I have to explain it every time so that like. Okay. I can't wait for editing spins to just put silly music there just to just to show how dumb I was in that moment. But yeah, my, my class, it was, it was one of those things where we, we took over the student lounge and that was our lunchroom. And then after that, when we became seniors, my class was like, oh, we don't have a student lounge. And, I, and I'm just like, we can't, we can't complain about that though. Like we, ha we actually don't have, like, yeah, we didn't choose to come into the high school, but our grade is the one who actively got rid of the student lounge. So I'm like, you know, we, we can only say so much about that. But yeah, needless to say, oh my gosh, that is close. The, the clear time did not help. That was, that was like the most Breaking Bad Walter White reference I've ever seen in Splatoon 3. <laughs> other, than, other than the person that named themselves Walter White, of course. Oh, what you, what you doing there, little buddy? That's, uh, that's corner. <laughs> he's, he's just like, I have done wrong. I must, I must get punishment. I must get time out. And I'm like, what, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you did nothing wrong. You did, you did good. I'm proud of you, little buddy. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not upset with the things that you have done, sir. You are just a tiny, tiny little fish goblin. That doesn't, that doesn't mean you need to go into the corner. Unless I'm playing Salmon Run. Like, th th that, I, I still stand by the fact that I, it's the funniest thing how one mode, you'll, you'll be playing it and you'll be like, oh my god, this is the worst thing to ever exist in, in this game. It is my least favorite thing to deal with. And then you then you play story mode and you're like, oh, look at this guy. He's so cute. I love him. I want more of him. I want to I want to see all of the things that Samnoids can do. And it is just amazing. And then and then you go back to Salmon Run and you're just like fuming because you got killed by a small fry. It's it's such a weird a weird dichotomy. But you know what? I I still I still kind of love it a little bit. Okay, that's not much. But we are getting very close to just cleaning out all of this. Thankfully, we haven't really had to had to play too many levels over because we are we are actively getting a bunch of stuff. Oh, did, did you find something? Yes. Yeah, you did find something. Oh, it was eggs. Okay, I didn't see the animation go off, and I was like, what's that about? What's that about? Okay. Well, I definitely want to take care of this one. Oh! I, d I didn't notice the bandage box. Hey, you know what? I am, I am all for it. I am absolutely all for it. And that's how you get up here? That's not how you get up there. But there is more there is more fuzzy use over here anyway. From downtown! Yay, I did it! Oh little buddy found something? That's awesome. But I don't think I can get up there. I actually I actually don't know. How to how to get up there? So that might that might have to wait a little bit. Oh wait, this is incredible. That okay. Well, that that explains that. So in other words, I did all of that for for no specific reason other than just for style points.
Oh, well, there we go. There's a reason. Oh, the... Is this a JoJo reference? I haven't, I haven't watched the anime. It just that uh, the art style... Of, like, it reminds me of that. For the Inklings and Octolings of the Splatlands, aggressive action is the best way to make a splash in the local scene. Youths will often dress themselves in the style of a delinquent or a hooligan to intimidate peers during combative courtship rituals known as rumbles. Okay. <laughs> Splatoon 3 just being like, oh yeah, manga. Okay, half the time I never know if Little Buddy is, is trying to find a secret or if he or if he's just being ADHD. <laughs> Which you know what? I, I respect both. I absolutely respect both. Okay, last level of the video is switching things up. Which we have definitely been doing all around this island by just like ignoring ignoring progress and going things slightly out of order. But it's it's fine. Yay, we got more blue ink too. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. Mm. Mm. I am a little bit nervous about where this is going. Oh, we're fine. Okay. It, it's just going to be hitting switches. Um, game? Oh! <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, we moved the box. Now what? <laughs> it's like, I, don't, I don't understand. Oh my god. I was being dumb. I was like, what if I what if I jumped onto the wall? Like, is that is that gonna end up taking anywhere? And then it zipped away. It was like, you idiot, what are you doing? <laughs> oh man. I will say I have used the Splattershot Pro a little bit on my own time. And overall, it's it's been pretty fun to use the kits that are in there though to be fair i'm not that great with it still i mean to be fair i'm not great with most weapons it's just that some days i kind of just pop off a little bit and i get very lucky inside of splatoon though to be fair we don't really need to worry about that kind of stuff inside of story mode and look at that you know what it, it's not technically luck but we did, we did instantly, okay, just, just a little, little slow walk, just a little slow walk, there's so much, there's so much ink on my face, I'm gonna say the ink is not going away, I don't, I don't want to move and do things, because I am nerve, oh god, get out of my face, sir, get out of my face, yeah, but I, I will say, for, Splatoon 3, I was kind of wondering if they were going to make, like, a humanoid version of the Salmonoids. And, like, it's not necessary for them to do it. But I think I think it would be interesting to see what that would end up looking like. Oh, that's just a shortcut back. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a reason after we hit the switch. I just thought maybe there, maybe there was, like, a secret. Is this really just to go back? Yeah, it really is. Okay. Hey, fair enough. Um, we may have missed a switch. That's that's that very possible. And that would explain why this wall is there because maybe. Maybe a new switch has been activated by doing that. No way we can make that. Oh, right there. That's just sneaky. That's, that's just so sneaky. What the heck, man? Are you for real? You for real with that switch? And it looks like we're still not done because they're it, it probably moved again. I've, I've always felt kind of kind of weird about these levels like they're not they're not bad it's just that 
they can be they can tend to be kind of annoying because they they ask they ask a fair amount of the player where it's like oh you have to find this Oh my god, it's right freaking there. I knew it. I was like, there's... I know there's a switch here somewhere. Look, I've, I've said it in Mario Wonder. I've said it. I'll say it again. It drives me nuts to have levels like this. Are they bad? No. No, it's not. It's not necessarily that it's bad. Is it annoying now? Yes. Yes, it is incredibly annoying to have these type of levels where it's like, oh, you have you have to find this tiny, tiny little thing that's all over the level and you have to run around and hope that you spot it and if you don't, then you have to go around again and try to figure it out. I don't know. I, I just don't really like levels that make it feel like I'm wasting my time. And, you know, if you disagree, that's that's fine. Because I know I know Kevin liked the the mystery levels inside of Mario Wonder. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just I just did not agree. Okay, so overall, we do have quite a bit. Oh yeah, we just have to swim up here and then we're able to we're able to get that. So yeah, overall, that's not too bad. And that's only 400. Wait, what the? Okay, well I'm glad you can do that instead of just having to hit this way again. Oh, we got another scroll. And it was in order. Oh, what are you? I don't like him. He scares me. <laughs> it's the it's the weird teeth thing. Oh, and it's like holographic. What the heck is this crab guy? The lobby I've built doesn't have a single standout feature because everything in there is feature worthy if you don't have the greatest turf war experience ever i'll eat the smaller of my two claws what <laughs> what <laughs> glenn fiddler president and ceo i don't know who you are sir i what <laughs> Just all of a sudden, guy who's never been in Splatoon, and he's just like, ah, oh, yes, here I am. Unless maybe I missed something in Octo Expansion. You know what I'm gonna say? If I missed something, let me know. So I would, I would be very grateful to to find out all of the things. Because there, there is a lot of lore when it comes to Splatoon, and so, sometimes it's it's very easy to miss. It's also just been been quite a few years, so it's not it's not unreasonable to say I probably forgot a few things. Yeah, but right right now I'm just getting rid of as much of the fur as I can that I've seen so far. But I I think that's everything like up updated to this point. So 
that's gonna be the end of this episode guys if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button share this out with our known love brother mother sister father iguana and i hope to see you guys in the next one where we'll be checking out this level all right guys thanks for watching and keep your toes safe Thank you for watching my video guys if you look over to the left you can see a playlist of one of my many playthroughs on the channel as well as a fun video up above it and if you look over to the right you can subscribe to the channel as well as see another video either from my channel or one of my friends channels either way it's sure to be a fun time again thank you guys for watching i hope to see you in the next one keep it toe safe